feel like I swallowed a fly or Damn, something. Why can't that happen when the timer's on? So if you've never seen this before, that's about what happens. Um, <laughs> the words of words, 60 second spotlight. What I do is I tell about a book that I've read over the last week. I tell you the good and bad and everything. And then I give it one to five stars and I do it in 60 seconds or less. If I do, I get fireworks. If I don't, I get to blow them up. Yes. And he's got the big bombs. I do got the big bombs. And he's itching. He's got that, his finger right on the button. <sighs> It's true. You could never it's be true. an elected official. I sleep all week dreaming about I'll this. I'll bet you do. So, are you ready? <laughs> Wait, let me get rid of the fly. <laughs> really, I feel like I swallowed something. Okay. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. In three, two, one. This week's Word of Word 60 Seconds Spotlight is on The Last Frontier by Alistair MacLean. Now, even if you never read a MacLean novel, you've probably seen some of his movie adaptations like Guns of Navarone, Ice Station Zebra, or Where Eagles Dare. The Last Frontier is one of his earlier books, but you can already see that he was going to turn into a best-selling writer of spy thrillers. Now, uh, this book is about a British secret, secret service agent who has to go behind the Iron Curtain <laughs> and uh, rescue an important scientist. Now, you adrenaline junkies, there's plenty of captures and daring escapes, as well as some uh, well-written uh, battles and fight scenes. Now, if there's one thing I didn't like there was a number of times where the main characters would get together talk about politics of the day kind of slowed the whole thing down but you know I never set the book down I knew it was going to get back to the action which it always did some people might say hey the book's 60 years old this year and you know what we got books that are 200 300 years old but as long as they're entertaining and they're fun to read I'm going to recommend them so The Last Frontier Alistair McLean, four stars and this has been the Words and Words Spotlight where we preview a book for you and we do it in 60 seconds or less yeah with five seconds left. Ooh, I always go into uh, the five mojo hip hop mode when we do this. And I got everything in. You did. I did. Congratulations to D. Maybe my Thank bombs you. can go off. Well, I mean, at least you're saving me money. <laughs> Show Mr. McLean's book. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. This was published in 1959. When I talk about the politics, it's kind of neat sometimes to go back to a, an older novel and you get a, an eye view of the politics of the day. Those were the days it was the uh, you had the Iron Curtain, you had the Cold War going on, and it was Russia against America, and they had their fingers on the button, on the, the bomb. So, um, yeah, but it's, an, it's a good book, and he... If you've never read any Alistair McLean, he is a writer of spy thrillers. He coming out of the World War II, he was in World War II and and started writing this stuff afterwards. So great stuff. Uh, like I said, one of his earlier books. Um, I actually had this. I'd read it years ago in paperback when we used to have those things. <laughs> Everything's on uh, Kindle now. Kindle. But it was called The Secret Ways. It was a different name, and that was the American title. Now they're just releasing it under what he. Um, he was a British writer, so his title over in Britain. All right. Well, if you want to go check out the book, we will have a link down in the description along.